Now let's say you wanted to move further with strings. Let's say you had a particular string. We'd call it. Um, um, let's call it Z. Z E D. Because Z is pretty cool. So let's say what I wanted to do with this string is I wanted to check whether this string has the letter E or not or let's say I wanted to check whether the string has a vowel or not and the particular vowel that I want to check for is E now Z would obviously it would have this vowel so how do I do this let's say you know how to extract characters from a string you could get the first one like this car at zero you could get the second one by using car at one up till let's say car at l minus one but writing so many lines of code to get every character for a second third fourth whatever writing that many lines of code is really really inefficient now how do you work through this well use our good old friend the for loop so the simplest way of traversing it's called traversing a string let's say int i equals 0 i less than l i plus plus now why is it less than l it's less than l because l is greater than 1 the l is 1 greater than the, the actual length so if we went from less than equal to l then we would be going one index out because if the actual length was 5 then l would be 5 or rather l would be 6 because it's 5 plus 1 but anyway that's just some trivia so i go still l now how can i take out the character at a particular position if i write car ch equals s dot car at i now this this line of code it's it's magical it's beautiful because every time your i value changes you get the next character when it starts off at zero you get the first character when it goes on to the second to one you get the second character and so on with the third up till l or since it's less than l it's l minus one which is your last character so this is a pretty genius way of traversing an array so you have your character now what do you want to check against your condition is that if ch equal to equal to e and let's for good measure ch in case someone really wants to mess around with our code capital e then you do something here let's say if it's a boolean function you can return so that's how you traverse a string and traversing a string is an important concept because you'll you'll be needing this for almost every program you want to traverse a string and let's say check for vowels check for consonants let's say check for words as of now we've just been dealing with single letter words later on we'll check for sentences we'll deal with proper sentences maybe paragraphs so an important lesson today is traversing a string for that first you create your loop from 1 to less than l then you extract a character which is by using the carat method extract car and then you perform whatever you have to perform whether it's check for something or anything like that you perform form operation so that's it for this video it's a short one it's about strings and uh, i'll see you next time